Hello there, Teeny Boy here, and welcome back to Doctor Who, The Lonely Assassins. We are on the 21st of October. We have deleted a Weeping Angel. Not something that I expected to be able to do, but we did. So, Natasha, we've unlocked some new... Let's read some of these, right? We've, we've, we've unlocked some more chats. Let's read through all these. Last month. I love you. Look it up. Mr. Nightingale, I do believe your presence was required at home 30 minutes ago. Where are you? The popcorn's going stale. Oh, jeez. Sorry, Nat. Had to pop over to Wester Drumlins for a bit. I'm heading back now. I see. Making life harder for dear old Fuzzy Flint. <laughs> Fuzzy Flint. He is not fuzzy. Fuzzy things are, uh, are, are, are uh, cuddleable. Uh, I suppose it's wise to keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. I take it that your pick for movie night is The Godfather. And Fuzzy Flint? Really? Ugh. I thought the mob might inspire you in these trying times. And yes, Flint's such a kind neighbour and he never gets my name wrong. I can't imagine a better way to describe him. I could think of a few, like, Fussy Flint. Fussy! Fussy Flint. Oh, darling, you're just being unoriginal now. Shut it. But seriously, Larry, this thing with Wester Drumlins, it's about to go pear-shaped, isn't it? Don't worry, Nat, I'll keep us both safe. Those things are never getting out. I know you will, but we're a team, remember? I could march over to Flint's right now and make him an offer he can't refuse. I'd love to see you go all Corleone on, it, Corleone on him. But it's too dangerous. I've already lost Kathy, I can't lose you too. You seriously can't expect me to sit here twiddling my thumbs while you're risking your life. Look, we'll talk more once I get home, okay? Okay. I'm just saying that you don't have to go at it alone, Larry. I'm never alone with you around. Oh, you're such a melt. I love you. So, uh, uh, Nat knows about the angels. Okay, oh. So it's because there aren't any secrets being kept. We've got Mr. Flynn, bloody hell. This guy again. Fussy Flynn. You know, that's a title if I've ever heard one. That simplifies things. Aha, I know everything now, Nightingale. You do? So you'll close off the house? Close it off? No. My cousin told me about you. You've been trying to get that property for ages. I know what you're trying to do. It won't work. There's been a misunderstanding. The Drumlin's disappearances into the unknown. Open. Uh, horrible things have happened there. Right, hang on. Let's open this. The, uh... Into the Unknown, The Front of Wester Drummond's, The Drummond's Disappearances, by Carl Nye Walkers, October the 9th, 2020, 3.10k views, uh, well, no, 3.10k views, 3.1k views. Uh, urban legends claim Wester Drummond's is a haunted house with a history steeped in mystery and death. Once a fine home in the boroughs of London, this bu the, the building has long since fallen into disrepair. Its once luxurious decor has been the victim of neglect and vandals, although in recent years its reputation has deterred most uninvited visitors. Oh, I can scan this, I'll do that shortly. Uh, many have walked by uh, Wester Drumlins without realising its paranormal significance, but its rundown appearance hides a dark history. Written histories of the property are contradictory and confusing. Some say the house once belonged to the Satchwells, a married couple of discreet wealth who lived there happily for many decades. Their tenancy ended when, the, when they mysteriously vanished in the late 1960s. Nobody knows how or when this happened, but the place fell into disrepair after their departure. Whatever the explanation, they weren't the last people to disappear from Wester Drumlins. Some say as many as 12 individuals have gone missing after being seen in the vicinity of the house. Despite the number of police inquiries over the decades, none of the missing people have ever been found. And in a sinister twist, we can reveal that no investigation has ever unearthed evidence or even an indication of how or why they disappeared. Whatever the truth behind this mystery, there is a lingering danger in Wester, Dr Wester Drumlins. That much at least is a stone-cold certainty. <laughs> Tags, what's the Drumlins? Mystery, 2007, 1960, Disappearances, London, Cal Nye Walkers. Subscribe! Please do. Um, Poppycock! I don't take stock in fiction. And to think I was trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. That dinner was just a stunt. Pur pure manipulation. Well, I won't be bored with a simple pot roast. If you won't listen, then I'll, I'll have to do something about it. Do something about it? Ha! Ha! I'd like to see you try. Don't test me, boy. Okay, no, so that's the end of that. Uh, Mr. Flint's being uh, fussy again. Right, let's read the... Let's scan through that thing before we forget. Because we probably will. Right, there we go. Sc nope. Scan. Boom. See what... Uh... Excuse me, apologies for that. Uh, the Drumlin's Disappearances. An article about strange events occurring at the West Drumlin's residence. Right, let's uh, let's speak to Petronella Osgood about this. Here we go. 
We may find more answers there, yes. Uh, let's go. Upload. So this is the article Rani helped Lawrence and Sally run about Wester Drummonds. All that work to keep people safe, only for this to happen. I guess he hoped his last encounter with them was the end of it. Uh, doesn't mention the weeping... No, not by name. Twelve more people have gone missing? Why are the angels so attached to this house? An abandoned house makes the perfect hunting ground compared to a public space. I suppose. It's empty, so they can move freely. Anyone who wanders in is probably desperate for shelter, as in, they have nothing. If not for Lawrence, they could have continued this for much longer. Uh, can we really stop all of them? I'm asking for a plan, not reassurance. Not all of them per se, but definitely the ones that cause all of this. So let's get to it. Alright, there we go. So we have a plan, at least. Uh, he's done more than Holdo. Uh, let's see. So there's, there's, stuff, there's stuff in the gallery, isn't there? Can we... Is that... Wait, that's the doctor. That's David Tennant in there. I can see I can see that. There we go. Maybe that's gonna maybe those are gonna be the videos. Right. Film projector. Oh, that's not good. What's this? M E T, what's that mean? Oh, Metacastis movie. Okay. No, no, Meta Alright, clue found. Corrupted video. A video corrupted beyond repair. It needs to be downloaded again. Okay, dope. Alright. Uh, let's speak to uh, Osgood about this. Upload. Corrupted video. Go. Well, that's disappointing. When well, that thing was running a mock in the phone, it must have damaged the file. Uh, do you think it targeted this? I'm not sure. Judging by the metadata, that's still readable. I'd say it's a digitization of very old film footage. Do me a favor, would you? Try to look for any mentions of this video or anything related to it. No, good help. All right. Uh, wait, hang on. Before we look at that mail. No. Is there one more thing in here? Was there? Download two. Got this one, which is a floating blue box. Is that the tart? Oh, someone's hanging out of that. Wait, was that? That's not Jack. No, that's not Jack, is it? Being lifted by a helicopter. Oh, I was like, is that that's not that's not Jack, is it? From the uh, the episode somewhat to Ricardo from the Slytherin. I can't even remember. Um, flying phone box uh, with someone hanging off of it, uh, being lifted by a helicopter. Okay, no. Oh my goodness! How on earth did Lawrence get this photo of the doctor? I was certain that Unit swept this whole incident under the rug. Fun fact: I was there myself. It was the first time I met the Doctor. Do you know the Doctor? No is a strong word. But yes, I've met them. A few times, actually. Uh, you got to travel through time? Uh, no, sadly. Uh, the Doctor offered me a chance once, but I couldn't take it. I was needed at home. Uh, well, there was that other time too, but then I died. That's a whole other story. Uh, is this part of the the show? Is it this was might have been in like season twelve or something? I can't remember anything about. Uh, what kind of the alien? What kind of alien is the Doctor anyway? The Doctor's a Time Lord from Gallifrey. Uh, explains the time travel. Yep. <laughs> uh, does make you wonder though. If everyone's a Lord, who do they Lord over? Time. No time, ladies, eh? Lords of Time. They should just call themselves that, eh? No, that doesn't sound cool. Uh, so what's the Doctor like? The Doctor is a lot of things. Kind. Mad. Brilliant. And sad, somehow. Yeah, David David Tennant got that, got that aspect nailed down. Uh, somehow? It's easy to miss, but... Oh, not with David Tennant, it's not. There's a certain melan uh, melancholy with them. There's a certain melan melancholy with them. Eons of living can do that to a person, I suppose. Anyway, uh, good that we found more evidence of the Doctor. I'll be sure to look through it later. Okay, nope. All right, nice. Let's go. Mail. All right. Uh, Marguerite at metarchives.web. Uh, archive video download. Uh, okay, nope. Yep. Dear Lawrence, thank you for dropping by today. 
Uh, tr thank you, thanks for dropping by again today. We managed to get that film you wanted. Hope this is what you're looking for. Here's the download link. Record number A-113, uh, medium film. Title, A London Citizen Displaced During the War. Okay, do read that in a moment. Metropolitan Archive. Note, this link is valid for one download only. If you encounter issues, please contact your local records administrator. Hope to see you again soon. Best regards, Marguerite Quincy, Records Administrator, Research Assistance Department, Metropolitan Archive. Uh, phone, okay, we've got that phone. Let's scan, let's see what it wants. What, what, what we've got here. Clue found, Met Archives download link. A link from the Met Archives for a digital download uh, of an archive film. Okay, dope. let's speak to Petronella Osgood. Go, upload, boom. A London citizen displaced during the war? That's curiously specific footage to look up. Why would Lawrence be interested in that? Uh, history projects. Uh, something to do with one of his collections. Possible, but unlikely given the level of importance attached to it. Hold on. This could be referring to the corrupted video you found earlier. Yes, and it's the last file I need to fully restore Lawrence's phone, too. Oh, nice. Should get a hold of it then. Uh, how do we get it? Uh, probably just go for the, like, let's use the email from the archives as a starting point. You need to contact Marguerite and convince her to give you the digitized video she sent to Lawrence. So you'll have to pretend to be Lawrence. It looks like a personal transaction, so she wouldn't release it to a stranger. Uh, uh, I can do that. Game on. Let's do it. Oops. Great. <clears throat> it's our chance to become raiders of the lost, ar lost archive. Sorry. Don't be sorry. I liked it. No pressure, but if Marguerite asks you anything, just get your facts right. It's all in their email exchanges. Go on, give her a ring. Good luck. Okay, no. So, is it just going to be saved, or do I have to try and figure this out? So, give us a second. There we go. Got the whole thing. You got to get the whole thing. Reached the Metropolitan Archive, your one-stop access point to our nation's history. If you are looking for an introduction to the Met Archive, please press one. For general inquiries, please press 2. For research assistance, please press 3. For international collaborations, please press 4. To return to this menu at any time, press 0. I'm going to go for 3. Having trouble finding what you're looking for? Feel free to submit a request or query and one of our administrative staff will get back to you. If you've already made a request or have a search in progress, and you'd like to make a call following this up, please dial the four-digit extension number of the person you would like to speak to after the tone. Up you have dialed the extension number of Quincy, Marguerite. Please hold while we try to connect you. Hello, Marguerite speaking, Records Administrator. How may I help you? Hello? Hello? The line seems to be off or something. Give me a moment. I have your number right here. Text you in a bit. Well, that was lucky that she decided to do that. Um, let's have a look. So, sorry about that, Lawrence. It's terrible line. How can I help? Uh, uh, I've got a problem with the file you sent me. Let's just get that. Sorry, Lawrence. Uh... Pardon me, but could you refresh my memory about when we met? Refresh memory about when we left. Okay, so when we uh, when we met or when we last met. Uh, okay, so it will be twenty third of February, uh, four or five p.m. What day is it today? Twenty eighth, so last week ish. Uh, nope. When we last met, so we met last week. Ah, uh, yes, that's right. It was refreshing to speak to a hobbyist like yourself. A change from the usual media researchers and academics. I particularly enjoyed our last conversation about the nature of time. Uh, it was really good to meet and chat in your office. Uh, no, so it weren't, it weren't a long email. Uh, the nature of time. Right, hang on. So it weren't a long email thread, was it? No, okay. So. Uh, dropping out again. So it was, we're in the office. We're in the office. Hang on. Right. Uh, chat in your office. There you go. That's kind of you to say. But I'm digressing. 
Uh, you're asking about the uh, video requested, correct? It's about the book, right? The photo, yeah, yeah, the old video footage, yeah. That's right. You said it was of monumental importance. I hope you managed to download the file. Uh, the link didn't work. I accidentally deleted it. Uh, well, my computer died, and I didn't, and I lost the file. Well, no, it didn't die. And I didn't lose a file, but it's cor it's corrupted. The, the the file, the version that I've got is corrupted. To say the link didn't work. Uh, uh, okay. I accidentally deleted it. Um, my computer died and I lost the file. Let's go to this one. Oh dear, I accidentally deleted it. Don't forget these things happen to us all. I'll store the link so you can use it again. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. There we go. Uh, you asked about something else as well. Uh, something about a blue telephone box? I might have found something. Uh, oh, what did you find? A colleague found some records of a telephone box that predate its invention. Perhaps you might make more, you might make more sense of it with your research so far. Uh, just download from the old link. You should get the video and the photo. Hope this helps. Um, right, brilliant, thanks. You got it. Yes. Persuaded Marguerite to send it. Yes. Download. All right, well done. Wait, okay, let's beat, her, let's beat her first. Right, hang on. You got it. Fantastic. Well done. That was a decent piece of hacking, my friend. There was literally no hacking involved. But, uh, that was emotional that you rubbing off of me. Uh, not sure if I'd call that hacking. It's literally not hacking. It's not, uh, you hacked the system and that's good enough for me. So, to the moment of truth, that's what the video. Yes, that is not gaining unauthorized access into a piece of computing equipment. That is not hacking. Right, let's go. Wait, hang on. Chats. Sent a link. Open. I'm about to download an angel onto my phone, aren't I? Uh, there we go. Explore through the millennia. Metropolitan Archive. Right, that's done. Uh, please have the download button. Blah, da, da, da. And it shoots with it. Yeah, okay, right, that's fine. Whatever, no one cares. Right. Let's go. Thanks, Henry. This is a message for Lawrence Nightingale of London, England. There should be more instructions attached to the real Tim. We don't have those anymore. It's so nice to be able to say that again. I'm in Kansas, 1928. The day Herbert Hoover wins the US election, though no one knows that. I'm staying at the old Denslow farm, which is lovely and full of great people. And Wait, this isn't Nat, nice, is it? I miss you so much. Every single day. I mean, I'm fine. Don't worry. One minute I was in London, my time, our time. The next second I'm in Times Square, 1926. So the angels got like out. Life on Mars without John Sim. Oh, he was so great in that. But people only remember Philip Glenister because Gene Hunt was so... I really miss that end of stupid talks about telly. That was always our thing. You better not be schlepping around conventions with someone else now, by the way. Unless it's Sally. Could you move it closer, please? I know it sounds stupid, but I was always jealous of the thing you two had. I mean, the angel thing. But that's not why I finally snuck off to West of Drumlins. Oh. Honestly, I was trying to help. I don't know how, but... Anyway, as I was leaving... That was when this, like, damaged statue touched me and zap. You think Wi-Fi's rubbish in our bedroom? Try 1928. Don't even have it. I'm sorry I didn't believe you when you told me how dangerous it was. I pawned all the jewellery I was wearing, made some pretty shrewd moves in the market. Always knew my degree in American history would come in useful. Call me Natasha Gecko. Actually, don't. 
makes me sound like your pet lizard. Did I mention that I miss you? Once or twice. Every single day. Oh, not all my jewellery. The ring of bling. Till death us do part. The vicar didn't mention anything about weeping angels. Henry, what's wrong? Damn. Yeah. Okay, right. We got we got this, we got the bleak house, Charles Dickens. Oh that's okay, a book. Wait no, hang on, let's not read this one just yet. No no no. We need to let's get this one. No no no, stop. Thanks, Henry. Right. Scan. Message from Natasha. Natasha record, uh, records a heartfelt message for Lawrence from the past. Let's watch the video. Uh, by Angels. Yeah. When was Lawrence sent back? Where, where, like, what time was he sent back? If we can get the doctor in on this, I'll find a way. If we can, get, if we can find a way to get one person back, then we might be able to get them both. This must have hurt to watch. Looking at the metadata of the original corrupted video, Lawrence must have played this a few dozen times. Did he let himself get touched by an angel to hopefully get back to the same time? I've got a theory that that might, that might be it. Record that too. Must have to record that too. Agreed, but chin up my friend. So this confirms it. Natasha went to West of Drumlins and fell victim to the angels. They're not merciful creatures. It's a fate far worse than death, to be ripped out of time and away from the people you love. Uh, you think they're still at the house, the angels? It's likely these things don't move on so quickly. Aisha hasn't replied to my text. Hopefully she's just busy with the cameras. I need to make sure she watches out for these things. Oh, and I've managed to decrypt a set of data in Lawrence's personal files. Could you have a look at these first, please? Those first, please? Restore in private. Alright, start this chat. We'll get to these very shortly. Uh, there's just one more thing. Nope. Oh, there you go. There's a doctor in there. There we go. Hang on. Let's scan this through. Phone box on Bleak House. A phone box sketched into a first edition copy of Bleak House. Okay. All right. Let's speak to Osgood. Any idea on what this would this could possibly be, Osgood? Is that a sketch of the TARDIS? On a first edition copy of Charles Dickens' Bleak House? I wonder why the Doctor was in 1853, the Crimean War. Whatever it was, I'm sure there was a good reason. Adventure? He likes to do that. Uh, visits Earth a lot then? Yeah. Uh, they've certainly taken a shine to the place. Uh, it seems to have a thing for historical events. They show up around those a lot, I find. I mean, technically, what we consider the present day... Well, it's not even technical. Um, ancient Queens, of course. Uh, uh, sightseeing? Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, what we consider the present day would be ancient history to him as well. Or, 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 yeah, they. To them, even. Uh, sightseeing. Uh, well, if you had a time spaceship, wouldn't you? Yeah. Why are you so interested in finding the Doctor? Personal curiosity, you could say. I'm a scientist, and that means hunting down interesting happenings. And whenever the doctor shows up, interesting things tend to happen. Uh, hunting for adventure, eh? Uh, well, I also think Unit could really use the doctor's expertise right now. Speaking of, you'd make a fine recruit for us. Definitely not a job for the faint-hearted, though. Uh, I'll think about it. Definitely, uh, I won't say no. I won't say no right here and now, but I definitely won't say yes here and now either. Well, if you ever need a reference, I'm here. Anyway, so that's three TARDIS sightings you've found now. Good job. Well, that seems like a good enough place to leave it. That's about all the time I've got for today. I hope you guys had about as much fun as I did. If there are any games you'd like to see me play, feel free to suggest them down in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, have a great time. Nailed it.